Hey everyone, welcome to Jelps. We're gonna pay off an old Jewish man, and then we're gonna play some more of this hey, video game. I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned up. Upside down, the Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once, but I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. Seems like every uh, yeah. big crime person in this city somehow you. fucked over his specific like debt. Make you. If who wasn't even a gangster, who was just like a dude. You know I mean, it makes, an ex it, it makes sure. sense to an extent. You're running around the same similar circles. It's like in the same immediate area that his father lived. And also, it's a loan shark. And um, yeah. who, a loan shark who lives like right across the street from the warehouse that That's he worked true. at. That's true. So it makes sense, honestly. It's not like the most ridiculous. It's just funny Geographic every new villain. I get you, but like geographically, it makes sense. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison. Living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. When you ducked it, you spent like seven years in prison. Yeah, he, he like, really did the majority of his sentence. He was sentenced to ten. Yeah. He got three years off. Like you that, probably could get them for good behavior already. Yeah. Like, that's good, I guess, that you got out early, but it's still seven years. It is a long time to be in a prison. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Ooh. Who's I, Carlo? I, I, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> this is the last fucking chapter. You don't remember. <laughs> oh my god. Who's uh who's He's, Vito? Carlo is the boss. Oh. He is like literally the top dog. He's the top guy. The top dog. We've met him before. He's been in things. He's done stuff. All of the above. Get your shit together. Oh. Or die. Either one. <laughs> Are those my only Mr. two Scalera. options? Yes. Can you get in, please? Hey, old man. What are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are... This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. 
Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown, that was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. You called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Shit. Yeah, things are fucked up. So we're gonna kill our own crime boss. Yeah. Hey, stop the car. <laughs> that was... Some questionable well, physics at never, best. Never mind. Cops here, so you get off easy. Really, if anything, that guy should be arrested. He just fucking hit and ran. Yeah. What an asshole, right? And what a dick bag. Yeah, stupid douche. Is it the first time it's rained? Yep. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I don't remember it raining before. But I'm also incredibly stupid. That is so, so true. <laughs> so very, very large chance that it has, in fact, rained before. Whoa. Hey. You can't do that. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Where did hey. you come from? Wall. You can't do that. No, you Wall. cannot. God. It's crashing into everything. Everything's just like getting in my way. Yeah, so uh, Leo's pissed off at me. Well, you did fuck up. Yeah, but it was like a minor thing. Also, I, only, like, I only killed like half the families in the entire city. <laughs> Can't, also, like, I mean... I can't believe Henry was working for the feds. Do, like, were you expecting that or something? No. Are you, I well, wasn't so, expecting it. So you weren't being facetious right there? No. Oh, okay. Which is like, they didn't really set it up ever, so I was just... It's interesting they just, like, suddenly... Not a problem, I, I guess. I don't see, like, how you can set something like that up. Uh, just some without Without going through their perspective. That's true. I just some reason that he might not like... Being a criminal or be the family. Well, he was his crime boss was killed. Like his whole That's true. like his whole thing was over. So he very easily could have just gone to the feds. Like, look, these motherfuckers are the ones who killed my livelihood. Mm. I will take them out mm. for you if you want. Okay, okay. Like you can infer ba the basis of why he did it. All right, I'll buy that. I'll buy that, Jake. I'll pick up what you're putting down. You buy it. I'll buy it. How much? How ten, much? Per, ten how, fifty. How much per share? Ten fifty. Sold. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> How many shares? How many shares, Jake? Seven. Shit. It's like seventy three dollars and fifty cents. I don't have a lot of shares. <laughs> a very small stake in the company. <laughs> it's my company, but very small stake. I also have a, a small stake dinner in the company as well. Yes. <laughs> it's worth more than the, the shares are, honestly. It's a very, very nice stake. <laughs> It's a hundred twenty dollar steak. The stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. It's more expensive than my, than my company. It's honestly quite sad. Have we ever been up? <laughs> a small steak. Have we ever been up here before? Yes. Have we? Probably not. <laughs> this seems like higher than we've ever gone up into the hills. Yeah, the we're hill going country. to the we're going to the planetarium. Yeah. Planetariums are notorious for being at the top of hills. They're Didn't, infamous for it. Did you not know this? They're well known. I guess you're right now that I'm thinking about it. Actually, Smash. we may have been here before. 
Yeah, it does look vaguely familiar. Like during the drunk um, scene where like, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Did we come this far up though? Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty far up. <laughs> Valet, take my car. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go. Well, shit. That was discreet. Vito's fucking just, like, going for it, dude. Doesn't oh, he give doesn't, a fuck. He doesn't really have a choice, does he? Yeah, it's pretty much that or die, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Holy heaping fuck. <laughs> oh, I was in cover, you bitch. Well, that took all of five seconds. Yeah, what the fuck? Welcome to the Jake Dies A Lot show, in which Jake dies a lot. <laughs> what I remember about this chapter is that, yeah, I'm probably going to die quite a bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ain't no montage like a death montage, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I got a few of them. <laughs> oh, nice. What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, look at Jake. Give him one little death and he's on board. Yeah, little death. Full stake. Where's the shotgun? <laughs> there it is. Okay. What do you want? To kill you, probably. Okay. Is that <laughs> I got oh, a bow. God, same falling animation too. I love it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I feel like the way this level is laid out really gives you the advantage here. Yeah, but I do remember this being difficult to like a level that's kind of annoying. Oh, I'm sure. But maybe I'm wrong. That's the problem know. with a lot of games. Like the last level just becomes like. Inane. Yeah, to an extent. Oh, God. <laughs> Motherfucker! What? Through the s concrete wall, Jake. God damn it. He had armor piercing Start over, bullets. Right? Yep. All Guarantee the way it. over. Guarantee it. Guarantee. Yep. yep. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Don't leave cover when the shotgun's pointed right at you, kids. They teach you in day one of boot camp. They're not gonna come. You. Okay. Nice. Watch your six. Do you even... That's just like random <laughs> bullshit speak. While you're 13, check your 5 o'clock Northwest Tower. Check your 545. <laughs> check your 230 dentist appointment. I feel like ending with a big giant shotgun fight is like a classic way of ending a thing. I know you don't have to use a shotgun, but I feel like in a lot of movies, I always end with a shotgun fight. Mother shit. Nice. Okay. That was almost really bad because I missed that first shot and yeah. it was like, ah, oh, that's a key way to lose. 360 no scope. <laughs> okay. The fuck is that other guy? He's behind here. How'd you know? Mother fucking. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, Jake, you just never run out of new noises to make. <laughs> there oh. we go. Lost me hat. Yes, me hat. Okay. Uh, uh, no. What planets? This guy really has no loyalty, huh? I mean, I guess I wouldn't either if it was, like, be loyal and die. Vito, you mean? Yeah. Well, the the first guy, it's fine because he charged. He was going to charge him money to yeah. join his club. That's true. That's true. Fuck, fuck money. Yeah. Can't to join pay. his club, his crime club. No, no. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Stings, mom mom not... said that's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you should be embarrassed. Oh, I thought there was a guy there. Fuck me. Where? Oh, there he is. Nice. I thought there was another guy, like, right there. Must, well, must have murdered him. Must must have been dead. There we go. Nice. Who knew a shotgun would be so effective at close range? Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> Dude, that was a fucking grenade, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Damn. Vito's a goddamn monster. Okay. Jesus Christ. What do you think, Alex? Nice. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that you're doing really good. Give me compliments. You're Make fucking, me feel good. You're, <laughs> you're fucking, job, You're please. mass murdering all these people. Yes. It's amazing. Am I really good at mass murder? Yeah, dude. I am? Okay. You should make it into a, a career. I think I did. A mass assassin. A mass assassin, if you will. An assassin. That's new. That's a new joke. Yeah, I know, right? Did you just make that? that yes, yours? I did. I did. It was all mine. Did you just invent that right now? Whoa. Holy heaping fuck. Ah, no, what? You've been killed. I got... It's more realistic. Like, you get shot, like, twice and I'm fucked. Twice in the head. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't play games for realism, though. Huh. No, god damn it! Nice. Not as nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, dude, this is a tough part, because it's, like, it's completely open. Oh, yeah. No, I don't blame you at all. Someone else might. Some other people, some large other group of people might blame you. <laughs> nice, you've cracked the code. Was that Jake? I was gonna say reload, but or uh, like re help, whatever. Words. <laughs> I was gonna say words. Nice. He's not dead. No, maybe. No, he's not. You just gotta believe in yourself, Jake. Fuck believing in yourself. You just gotta yourself. believe. Uh. This is a clever way of going about this, Jake. I applaud you. Yeah, I've got these like little, little things in between to protect yeah. me. Yeah. I got my own cover. It's hard for them to hit you. Nice. There we go. There we go. Now murder him, final boss style. Jesus. Oh, there's only three of them. Fur. Fur. Gotcha. Never stood a chance. Give me ammunition so I can kill your buddies. And the last guy. Dead. Nice. The fuck? That's one of those, not a Jacob's Ladder. What's it called? Uh, Jack's Ladder. That's what I was thinking of. S Svensson's Ladder. Nice. It's Jerry's Ladder. Svengali's Ladder. Mm. Wow. I shot him. I did wow, shoot him. Just wow. There we go. Oh, it's I the last guy, too. Yes. It was the end of people who died. <laughs> As opposed to the non-dying sorts. <sighs> man. Man, 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 man. This is, this is something. This All is right. something, Alex. Here we are. Next part. Wow. Look who it is. This is who they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? 
I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouch for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey, if you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito, let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, Joe? You're gonna throw all that away? Do it! Two. Now! Yeah. Oh yeah, Joe. Best on friends. our side in the end. Wow. I love how even in this, he still has like the same, like yeah. fucking like statements. Well, is that all you got? Even though he's like beat to shit. And, you like, shoot like my sister. Yeah, yeah. That's the other one. There's actually less people in here than I've killed many other times today. I kill yeah, I killed my, more people on the way here. <laughs> oh, that's Joe. Oops. Sorry, Joe. Where'd fucking that guy go? Uh Carlo? Yeah. I don't know. Places. Most of places that are not in, right in front of us. Rookie fucking mistake. Where are you? Whoa! I don't know how the fuck that works, but okay. You just gotta sit back, cross your legs, cross your arms, and not question it hard. <laughs> oh, I kinda miss this. Reminds me Does this of fucker... God damn it. I shot, and like... You have been killed. It's effectively switching weapons is the same as reloading. It takes the same amount of time, yeah. so I was, I was fucked. The big bad comes out, right? No, nah, I think we got a little bit more after this. Oh, like another wave? Yeah. Another wavu. Let's go, Vito. Sta stand up. <laughs> Seriously? Doesn't want to. Oh, it's moving. Nice. That was still alive. That was still alive. Sure that's not him? Might be. No. No, it is! God, fuck! <laughs> I thought it was weird that only one of them came out. Fuck this. <laughs> okay. He's making this much more difficult because I can't see him. I'm going in. Dude. Vito, or not Vito, whatever. Joe. Jo Joe. Stupid. There we go. Fuck you. Nice. You're dead. He's dead now. We've did it. I, you know I did. We've done it. For the last 10 years, all I've done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck him. I don't think that's how it works. That's kind of fucked up. What? I don't think he would still be making throat noises <laughs> after, after he got shot, shot in the head. The head. Yeah. yeah. I hope you yeah. know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. Yeah, everything's gonna be just Who's fine, Joe. Like Nothing. He made me an offer. That's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. He made me an offer I could you refuse. Me <laughs> Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? <laughs> That's not true. Aw, friends. Friends to the end. Five dollars isn't worth that much. Not even in the 40s. What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Hey, it's Pepe. Come on. 
Let's head to the cat house. Who? Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. Disappointed head shake. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you over there. They're gonna die, aren't they? Pepe's the guy I fought with in the prison. Oh, yeah. Alright. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Killed Joe? No. No, he's just making some brownies for him. Why'd they kill Joe? What did they stand to gain by killing Joe? Oh, I guess the Asian guys wanted him. Yeah, probably the Asian guys wanted him. I don't know. I, I always guys. infer that they were just like, yeah, Joe wasn't part of the deal, man. We gotta make him cookies. Gotta, gotta make Is it him, the end of the game? Gotta bake him some... some that, there's no way that's the end. Some cakes. Make some food. What? Help him out. Give him, give him a little something. That's just the end of the game? Just, you know, making some brownies. What the fuck? There, there has to be another scene. There's get, no way that's just the end of the game. Give him some muffins. Give him some blueberry muffins. That's such a, like, disappointing ending. Here, Joe, you can have some... That's such some, a nothing ending. Some fuck you, Jake. <laughs> I don't care about your dessert jokes over here. I'm mad. You want some cranberry muffins, I'm Joe? I'm upset about... I want some cranberry muffins. Want, Pepe made some muffins earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like a Pepe and a giant like kiss the cook apron. <laughs> I finished the muffins, boss. You can have some muffins. <sighs> so that was a game. Yeah, I really liked it. I like it too. It's 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 weird. It is a weird game. It's I like there's agree. like no real overarching story. It's just things happen to this guy. That's for... not true. There is an overarching story. It just starts very late. <laughs> But and it's not overarching at that point. That's, that's true. That, that's the that's definition. Not, that's, true. that's true. Not an overarching story. There is, there is a, a story. story. Yes. Okay. There's, there is a story. But there like, is a definitive narrative. We just do a bunch of things and then the game ends. Yeah. I don't think every game has to have like a, a like a full like theming and no, like sure. narrative and all of that. No, I think I like that, but it's just very odd. Yeah. It's an well, interesting I mean, choice. the whole point of this, the majority of this game is just being a part of the mafia. Yeah, like yeah. That's the idea of it. That's true. And then Vito fucks up and, <laughs> and acts like a dumbass and pisses off a lot of people and gets Joe killed. And uh, Vito, something happens to him. By the that's way, sad. I told you, I told you that not to look up any spoilers from yeah, Mafia 3. Yeah, which I didn't. Reason why. Yeah. Uh, spoiler if you don't want to know anything about Mafia 3. Just, you know, stop watching now, I guess. But uh, Vito is actually in Mafia 3. He is one of the main character's, um, like, advisors in that game. Really? Yep. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know I why. Just like how the guy from Mafia 1 is in this game? N no, it's like... He takes on a in, in Mafia like Three. Actual. He takes on a, a much more like consistent role. That was just like a oh hey little twist here. See that that's pretty neat. In Mafia Three, it was, it's like this guy's a part of the game. Like he's he's one of the main characters. That's really cool. Um, I don't know why you'd want him as your advisor. I mean, you kind of prove right here he's not very good at the whole advising not fucking thing. Up. Um, yeah. So like, I mean, so it's wait. twenty years in the future. So Vito's like forty three. He's got like gray hair and stuff. Yeah, but it's pretty neat. Why does uh, most of our wives' girlfriends? Huh. You want to finish your fucking sentence? That's why I was distracted by yeah, the credits. Yeah, I noticed. Why did they kill Joe? I think it's pretty obvious why they killed Joe. Just because he was still part of that family and they wanted to kill that entire family? Well, it, was, it, was, it was a part of like a message, like a message to send. You know, like somebody has to be made an example of who was a part of this shit. So... This is the guy. Or it could have been that they just gave it, gave him over to the Chinese. Yeah. Joe should have shot Vito. Joe should have shot Vito. Yes. I mean, it probably wouldn't have made a difference because the feds yeah. would have ended up arresting him yeah. or killing him or it would have been the Vinci family. I mean, Joe would have died eventually, no matter what. I mean, technically, to be fair, there's still like some sort of theory that he's still alive or something on the internet, but there's no like conclusive anything to be able to say for sure. Yeah. But yeah, um, I really like this game yeah. because I, I enjoy the the setting. Yeah. Uh, the setting was really cool, specifically the very beginning. Like, I'm all right with the 50 setting, 
but I really liked the winter in the 40s yeah. in New York sort of setting. That, that was cool. really fun and neat. It's also, this game is actually a lot shorter than I thought it was. I don't think it's going to even make 20 parts. Yeah. If it does, it's going to be like 20, 21 or something like that. There are, so are there really any like side missions to do or anything? No. Not any? Which I like. I, I, yeah. I'm so tired of games that like shoehorn in fucking side missions that, that like, don't, don't need, need to, to be, be there. there. Yeah. Like... I'm worried that's what's going to happen with Mafia 3, that they're just going to put in a bunch of shit that isn't necessary. I'm not sure you can get away with making a game that doesn't have that shit now. Yeah, no. Especially when it's a game that's like, quote-unquote, open world. Yeah. Because all all the fucking... Like, everybody will just get all up in arms and be like, you know, it's so, so empty. Like, what is this going to do? Like, okay. People need to understand that just because you want open world does not necessarily mean the developers want to make it. Yeah. And that's fine. Or that that's that. even what you actually want. Yeah, that's the other that thing. Would actually like, be you good. don't like okay, listen everyone. <laughs> you don't know what you want. Like you really don't. You you want you know that you want a type of game. That's cool. But in a certain context that might not work. Yeah. I, and by you I mean all of us. Every consumer ever doesn't technically really know what they want. They know what they like. Yeah. There's a bit of Big a difference. Big difference, yeah. Yeah. Well cuz what you knowing what you like is Based on the past. Mm -hmm. You don't know what will happen in the future. All you can yeah. be is like, well, that. I, there's that other thing that I liked, so you should just make yeah. more of that. Yeah, make that this Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> right? That's, yeah. that's what I want. I want I want more Grand Theft Auto. If we only made things that people already wanted, we would never have gotten, like, The Last of Us. Yeah. Or, like, No Man's Sky. No, exactly. Like, Which we don't know if that's people need to not, be still. willing to open themselves up to different things and different ideas. It's got to be how the last one was or is bad. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm okay with Mafia 3 having a bunch of side missions if they make sense. And yeah, if, if they're, they're fun, fun and if they work. I think, no, I think it could work really well, yeah, as long as you don't just do, like, a bunch of copy-paste fucking fetch quests. My understanding is it is true open world, though. So that makes me hesitant to play it, play it on the channel for that exact reason. Mm. I don't know if we will. It'll be a thing we'll have to see about. Yeah. Don't know. But uh, I'm going to play it. It's just a matter of whether it's on my own or if it's on here. Jalbs. Jalboos. Is it supposed to be the outro? Jalbums. No, it's just what the show oh, on, that we... On Jalps? The, uh, the show that we'd play it on, yeah. On Jalpes. Jampoos. Yeah, what does that stand for, by the way? Jalps? Yeah. Uh, it stands for jacking all leprechauns. Please, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Please, sir. Please, sir. It's a request. It's, yeah. not, even, it's not even like a, a, a thing. It's like just asking somebody to do something. Yeah. Just like, please, jack off all leprechauns. Thanks. Ja no, it's not jack off. Jack all leprechauns. Yeah, please, right. sir. Yeah, please, sir. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so like... Are women able to jack, jack leprechauns as well, or is it only men? Yeah, no, what? Absolutely. Okay, so women can as well. It's like, you know, it how like, like a, skin? you know how, like, in Star Trek, like, there's, like, a future... Oh, oh, nice. In Star Trek, there's, like, in, like, it, where, like, in the future, and everyone's just called Sir. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at the albums. Eric. Whatever happened to this woman? She gone. She just yeah, didn't she show just up anymore. She wouldn't talk to you after you beat her fucking husband. Yeah. Which, you know, kind of fair. Well, you know, he was beating her. And the way I look at it, that makes it okay. You don't beat women. You can beat men. Yeah. Do not beat women. You know what the old saying is? You can beat men and children. Get hit, get hit. Yeah. Respond to violence with violence, because that solves everything. Yeah, but Jake, you're forgetting that crime doesn't pay. Uh, I liked the characters. They were mm -hmm. nice. I liked the style. I liked the way the story went. I like it was just like this guy's life. Mm -hmm. There's no like overarching like here's the plot. Really, it was just like look at all the different things he does. Look at this especially big last thing. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're done. And I was just like, cool. We got like a little glimpse into a slice of this guy's life. Yeah, which I thought was neato. Um, this is by the way, this is the only. Anything? My understanding is this is the only character that has anything that has something to do with every single game. Because he, I mean, he's like, it's it's weird because he's a part of the, I guess you'd call it trilogy because he killed the main character of the first one and yeah. that was in the first game. He killed, or he was the main character of the second one and he's going to be one of the main characters in the third one. There you go. It's like, there's got to be something to this guy. There's got to, or not like, not like I'm saying he's Jesus or anything. I'm just saying that like, he's got to have he's some sort of purpose. Jesus. He has to have some sort of purpose. Yeah. I mean, he dies in three. 
I'm not sure. I I don't. I'm not sure. There's anything I didn't really like about the game. Just uh, things that you found you were perplexed maybe, by. Maybe n- nothing that doesn't just come from the times. Like the annoying save stuff mm-hmm. was annoying. Some of the driving controls seemed to be wonky. Yes. But outside of that, it was clunky. The gameplay was very clunky and very like stiff. Yeah. Um. But you know, you like you said, a lot of games were from that time. Um, I mean, the alternative is GTA 4, where everything's all fucking slippery. Yeah. So, I mean, pick your poison, I guess. Yeah, right. Uh, but I'd say nothing, like, specifically with this ex- specific game. I can't really... I really liked it. The one thing I will say artistically that I didn't like that they made a decision on was the uh, the speed limits and the, yeah, the okay. cop cars and all that. I get it. You're going for realism. Realism's nice and all, but if it impedes my ability to play the game to an extent, yeah. then all of a sudden it's not so cool. Yeah. You know, I mean, which no. it's one thing if you have side missions because that adds like a level of like depth to the side missions and like emergent gameplay. But when you have just like a straight story, it's just like annoying because you're just trying to get to the next chapter of the story. Yeah, and the game itself just like won't let you. Mm-hmm. Like if there were like side missions of like rob a bank or something, like ah the cops are here, what do you do? You know, it's like oh ooh, things. Yeah. Well, also like if they they made a point to involve the speed limit in the gameplay or like made a point of it, like. Yeah. This matters in certain contexts, but it was just like, yeah, no, you just figure it out on your own that, oh, yeah, like this game does that and other games don't. So you're going to have to adjust to that. I don't know. Just it wasn't my thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, other than that, though, like, yeah, I really like Mafia, too. It's an enjoyable game. It's got a really cool setting. It has um, a awesome tone to it. Yeah. Music was good. Music was good. Music was and good. Uh, story was pretty good. Voice acting was solid. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things. A lot of those things happen. Yeah, it's got the, like a nice lot, a lot of nice little touches that just come together to yeah. a big, fancy package. Mm. Mm. Package. Mm-hmm. Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you All right. Know well, what else is dicks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Penises. Oh. What about jalps? Uh. Ah, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, you don't want to... Wait till your heart stops beating so much, then you'll be fine. Joe, don't get in my eyesight. It's like a very awkward place. Nice. I know it's nice. I can look at the Game Grumps logo. Nice. 